Please be seated. And once again, a special good evening to everyone joining us here for the 2023 National Carnival Queen Official Sashing Ceremony. Again, this evening, the 10 beautiful contestants will meet their sponsors. And I'd just like to say a special good evening to everybody who is joining us via our live stream on the National um, Carnival pages as well on YouTube and on Facebook. Thank you so much for being here with us this evening. And let me first adopt the protocol and recognize our invited guest. Joining us this evening, we have the Minister for Tourism, Culture, Creative Industries, Broadcasting and Information, Honorable Dr. Ernest Soler. We are also joined by the Minister for Youth Development and Sports, Honorable Kenson Kazimir. We have the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, Creative Industries, Broadcasting and Information, Ms. Donalyn Viti. We have the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Tourism, Culture, Creative Industries, Broadcasting and Information, Mr. Calvin Lee. We are also joined by the presence of the Taiwanese Ambassador, His Excellency Peter Chen, the Moroccan Ambassador, His Excellency Kat Miri. We also have the OAS Ambassador, Her Excellency Lily Jichin Soto. We also have the Chairperson of the Carnival Planning and Management Committee, Ms. Tamara Gibson. We also have the Chairman of the National Carnival Queen Show Committee, Mr. Trevor King. And we have the Chairperson of the St. Lucia Tourism Authority, or Chairman of the St. Lucia Tourism, Tourism Authority, Mr. Thaddeus Antoine. And as I was told, we will be expecting the presence of our Honorable Prime Minister, Honorable Philip G. Pierre. He will be joining us. So again, a special good evening to everyone joining us. Also on the live stream this evening, I know we have the pageant Pines in the building, and they'll be watching closely to see who will be sponsoring our 10 beautiful contestants this evening. So again, welcome to the 2023 National Carnival Queen Official Sashing Ceremony. Tonight, these 10 lovely young ladies seated above will be officially sashed, sealing the deal of the contestants of the National Carnival Queen pageant. From this moment on, their journey continues and they become brand ambassadors. They will, for the next two months, take up the role of, as I said, brand ambassadors for the sponsors who have graciously come on board this year. And for that, we say a special thank you to each of the sponsors. So before we even know who the sponsors are, please, let's just give them a round of applause for coming on board this year. On July 1st, 2023, they will grace the stage of the pavilion on Rodney Bay in what is said to be the most keenly contested competition in years. And for the first time, we will have not eight, but 10 contestants vying for that coveted title. So we begin tonight's proceedings with opening remarks by the chairperson of the Carnival Planning and Management Committee, Ms. Tamara Gibson. Please give her a round of applause. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to adopt the protocol already established. We've hit the ground running for St. Lucia Carnival 2023 with the launch of a jam-packed calendar featuring all your favorite events from last year's carnival and the return of community carnivals, Juve, Junior Carnival, and the inter-commercial Calypso competition. Something for everyone. That's what St. Lucia Carnival offers. It pleases me to say that the production of the 2023 National Carnival Queen pageant will be nothing short of a stellar one. The National Carnival Queen Planning Committee, chaired by Mr. Trevor King, will this evening introduce 10 amazingly intelligent, talented young women and their corporate partners that they will represent for the upcoming months. Our contestants represent the full breadth of St. Lucia from north to south and east to west. We are all represented. This is beyond a beauty pageant. Our contestants have been undergoing rigorous personal and professional development training aimed at giving them a solid foundation applicable to their personal lives and critical to the development of their communities. By that token, I encourage you to get behind your contestant as she aims to bring the title of National Carnival Queen 2023 
home to your community. To our corporate partners who have agreed to invest in the premier carnival event, we know that you will be more than satisfied with your brand ambassadors. The CPMC and the government of St. Lucia are forever grateful for your continued support. By sponsoring a contestant, you are supporting the development of our culture, our creativity as a people, and our carnival. We have a few old faithful sponsors who have become synonymous with the National Carnival Queen pageant. I want to say that this pageant would not be the same without you. To our new corporate partners, we hope this is only the beginning of what will be a lifelong partnership. Our contestants have all the qualities to make them perfect ambassadors for your brand. And personally, I am excited to see how you maximize your investment. To the contestants, I wish you all the best on your journey. As I have told you, this will by no means be an easy one, but it will be one filled with opportunities. I look forward to seeing which one of you will take home the 2023 National Carnival Queen title. To all of you here or watching at home, let me encourage you to get involved in this carnival. Whether in your community, at the National Carnival Queen pageant, Junior Carnival, King and Queen of the Bands, Panorama, Inner Fet, or On the Road on Monday and Tuesday, whatever your preference, this is your season. The spirit of revelry and the vibe that is St. Lucia Carnival starts with you. Remember, answer the call to color. Lucian Carnival is our carnival. Thank you. Nothing sweeter than that. And please give her another round of applause. That was the chairperson of the Carnival Planning and Management Committee, Tamara Gibson. And as I've always said, once you put a woman at the helm of anything, it becomes a spectacular showcase. So let's just, yes, it's true. It becomes a spectacular showcase. So you did the right thing, Honorable Minister. I see you. Let's give a round of applause again, because we know Carnival is going to be exceptional this year. And just to tell you a little bit more about the importance of our sponsors, and I'd like to say to the young lady sitting above us, your sponsors will now become a part of your extended team, ensuring that you are ready for that big day. So please do not take anything that they're doing for you from this moment on for granted. Please show as much appreciation as you can. I'm speaking from experience of being a chaperone last year, so I know what it is. No, I decided not to do it this year, but hats off to all the chaperones, and I wish you ladies all the best. And as we continue, we will now invite to the stage the chair person of the National Carnival Queen Committee, Mr. Trevor King. Please give him a warm welcome. Let me adopt protocol already established. Good evening. Let me welcome you once again to this evening's session ceremony. The National Queen pageant is a display of art, creativity, culture, intelligence, elegance, and poise. It sets the tone for carnival events, and as in previous years, we will not disappoint. Each area of this pageant is carefully orchestrated to ensure that you, our viewers, experience the highest level of pageantry. Our enjoyment and fascination is one of the driving forces behind our need to innovate and improve every year, and our contestants have gladly accepted that challenge. Every year our contestants are carefully paired with sponsors that match their personality and their values. They must be the perfect fit because after today, they take on the name of their sponsors and officially become ambassadors for the brands and they are all eager to meet their assigned sponsors tonight. I must personally thank all our sponsors because without you, there would be no pageant. When you introduce to your sponsors this evening, ladies, be reminded that she has everything that it takes to win the crown, and your commitment and support is what will set her apart from the other contestants. As usual, 
the journey to the crown will be filled with fun and excitement. And of course, it wouldn't be a show without surprise twists. I look forward to seeing all of you there and those of you watching via television at the show. This is an experience best enjoyed in person. Immerse yourself in the journey and come cheer on your favorite contestant on July 1st. I wish you all a safe and enjoyable St. Lucia Carnival experience. Thank you. And let's hear it once again for the chairperson of the National Carnival Queen Committee, Mr. Trevor King. All right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment we have all been waiting for. We are about to witness the dipping for placement for the day of competition. So this evening, the ladies will dip for their numbers. And of course, that will be their order of appearance on the night of competition. And then, of course, we get to the official sashing. And tonight, each contestant for the very first time will meet their sponsor and wear the company's branded sashes over the next six weeks. The official sashing ceremony begins now.